How scary, I thought. But they have survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes and data drained computers and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. Or oh, was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. I was curious about some other things. I find things curious as well. Go on. You don't seem aggressive. I broadcast threats to the third tank. Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent. Except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Wait. Sounds like you built a robo scorpions issued the threats to keep the thing tank occupied. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. Is some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the raisins better than I do. Everything you have told me doesn't add up. Plan, even your name. Mobius. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name. And my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the Think Tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. You reprogrammed their names as part of a recursion loop? What, to trap their processors? Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... A recursion loop is designed to prevent the flow of information, so... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have Plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several Plan Bs in case the A's fail. Plain, Mobius, O's a circle, eight is an infinity symbol. They are all loops. I get it. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, 
But the world, sense of time and history, all that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Hmm, minor detail. But a snake devouring its own tail, it's Ouroboros, not Ouroboros. Really? It is so unlike me to make an error in anything I do. If you love otherwise the think tank, why terrorize them? Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... Then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. But there must have been other signs of a larger world. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions. But you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. The bullet that went into my brain? Doc Mitchell tried to patch me up, but... Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Mmm, Mentats. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal. And yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the auto dock in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem. And the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Lane said that they had the idea to get the three technologies after your broadcast. Coincidence? I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth! My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, 
Pardon my language. All those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. Was there any other data transmitted in your threat broadcast? Yes, my overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. What is the purpose of the technologies? The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. But the think tank then loaded the schematics, not the items. They can rebuild them. Uh oh. That means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. I was curious about some other things. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Well, time for me to go. Goodbye. Indeed. The uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor.